So like you move in circles in a way, but you change the, the, the altitude. Like, so you end up in the same place, but in another level every time. They, they give more space to the, to the physicality of painting. Like so they correspond to your to your to your body. There's like as far as you can go. And then like movement makes more sense. And there's like uh, what I see as a, um, say a musical aspect or a dance like aspect to painting too. Like how you move in front of it, how you leave a, how you leave your mark in it how you encounter it and that it, um, that it uh, offers some kind of resistance to your, to your movement, to your energy. So in that sense, the, the size makes sense. It, like these kind of gestures, they make more sense if you work in that scale than if you work like only with the movements on, of the fingers or the wrist. And that way it's more it engages the, the whole of you. That's interesting for me. I was always into space and I like big paintings. I like this impact that you, you can um, almost walk into them or that they surround you in that way and that you can move inside them and towards them um, but no, of course, it wasn't always like that, and it changes. It moves in. Uh, I mean, I I imagine the this kind of movement as something spiral. So like you move in circles in a way, but you change the 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 altitude. Like so, you end up in the same place, but in another level every time. So there are seasons or phases where it's more concrete more maybe subtle, more, more fixed. Um, or there are seasons where you are dealing with, uh, with a certain aspect more than others. In some seasons you'd, you'd deal more with questions of light, of color, and then you'd deal with something that has to do more with composition or with storytelling. And then you'd, you'd bind the two together and create another visibility, another kind of painting. So that's how I see the movement of it. So it's always evolving, it's always changing. Basically it's the same. I also am uh, like a serial painter. I, I repeat the same scene again and again and again, exactly for that, like, because there's as much information or or power or quality that one painting can contain. And then sometimes you, you end up with, with a painting that, that's emphasizing one direction of the endless possibilities that each painting presents. And then I, I open it, I make another, another version emphasizing something else. Until you, until you feel like uh, you, you hit it, let's say, until you feel you, you are able to, to say it. So it's this kind of feeling. It's because, um, uh, yeah, you can talk or like metaphorically talk through painting, but you don't always feel that you're so uh, precise or accurate or and then you're looking for something like a moment when, when it comes together in a, in a complete way. That the painting is, is whole, it's, it's not perfect, but it's complete. And the feeling is like you were able to articulate something real. That's, that's how it feels. That's when you know you hit it, that's when you know you're done with it.